previous topic what we did basically we allowed marketing team to access the facebook app so what we did basically we allowed facebook app on this palo alto firewall so that these marketing people could go via firewall and access the facebook app now management realized that the allowing the app basically work for their company because this team is basically taking their business on different level by doing the advertisement of using the business account. So management decided to create business account on Twitter and LinkedIn as well. So they came to IT and then asked like another requirement that this marketing team should also have an access for the Twitter and LinkedIn as well so your job would be to you know allow few more websites or the application on the palo alto firewall now here is a catch because management is might gonna come with different requests as well in the future or this might gonna be like ongoing requirement in future as well so what could you do basically instead of allowing one by one application on firewall you can make the group of this application and then allow them on the Palo Alto firewall because what might happen this might be the one branch office but if you have like 20 30 branch offices you can easily allow this application on each branch offices by using one of the group called social maybe networking you know group we can create this kind of group and we can add all this application into the single group and we can just add into the policy so let's see how we can create that group and allow into the policy well to add that application into the application group all you need to do is you need to go to objects and under the application there is option for application groups and in the application group you have to click on add since this group is going to belong to the social networking app so let's give it a social networking group right so social working group right so social networking group now all you have to do is you have to add all the application you would like to give access to the marketing team so our first app which is facebook right so you'll have to search for the facebook and we can click add the next was twitter it's going to give us the twitter the last one was linkedin done okay so we have created a group for these particular three applications and in future if it is going to be more application you have to just go and add search for the application and you can just add in here and press ok now let's take this group under the policies so if you remember in our previous topic we had created one of this policy belong to the Facebook but let's rename this to the social networking because it is going to access to multiple social networking applications right then after that you need to click upon the application first let's delete this individual app because we would like to add the group right so let's delete this and you have to click upon add but we want the group here so you can just search for the social networking what we had created and it is going to filter with that particular group okay there is some spelling mistake hold on social network you see here it is not popping up so let's do this social only there might be some spelling mistake I guess and you can see there is a hyphen I did not use so this is something you know it is just trying to match each and every uh, aspect what we use while creating the group so you need to make sure you are using the same method you created the name all what you can do is you can just copy and paste the group name here but as you can see the group what we had created it's coming here so you have to select social networking group then after that the services what we use to allow which is http and https but if there is an app which require more than these two services then we can add in here as well but at this point i guess most of the application they use http and https so i guess we are good with the application control as well so what will happen we have application control as well as we are giving the control based upon the port or services 
now our action is allow so i guess we are good to go right so we have to just press upon ok and this is the policy we created based upon the application group now do commit and say commit so what we did basically we created one of the application groups so if you go to down arrow let's see the value and you could see we have created three application in the single group now let's say we are going to come up with like uh, 10 or 20 application requirement in near future so you have to do one thing you have to just go to application group and click upon the application group so whatever application requirement is coming in the future you have to keep adding in here so what is advantage of this basically whatever application you add in here it is automatically is going to add into the group so what will happen once it is added in here it is basically going to auto add into the policy so you don't have to go into the policy every time and you know make the changes because if you have like uh, 10 or 20 branch offices using this group become very flexible you have to make changes into the group and just push on the firewall and the policy has been created so that is how you can add multiple applications in single application group so this is for now and i'll see you in the next video see ya